Um, so it's a forensic science class and we, um, a big focus is like the, in every science state standard, um, observation, attention to detail, critical thinking is like an important part of any science, a scientific method, you know, making observations, making hypotheses, um, analyzing a situation. So that is really a lot of the focus of the course and then we use the different, um, you know, forensics is pretty much science and crime and, and law combined. And so um, we have a number of units. We do like crime scene, um, like eyewitness basics. We talk about the fallibility of um, eyewitness testimony, therefore the importance of physical evidence, which of course is the hard science. So then we move into the hard science. We do um, like fingerprinting and we do um, impression evidence and we do like like tool marks and bite marks and that kind of stuff. You know, the farther, the harder you hit it, the farther it goes. Um, depending on which depending on what you're using and like how hard you hit it with, like. What? So, All right, listen up. What else have you learned from this, uh, this class? Well, I, I I learned that you know like just from this class in general, it's like there, I didn't realize how many different ways there was to uh, categorize. You know, like like how you can get caught in a forensic like teeth mark. So I didn't know they were impressions for teeth and stuff. You know, I didn't know that. Now I do. This class has helped me out a lot. You know? If I ever want to kill someone, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I know ways to not get caught. Right? But yeah, that's basically it though. It's a good class, yeah, great teacher. To say. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me why you decided to take this class. Oh, oh. Um, it's fine. Hey, plastic, yeah. Yeah. What else have you done in Heard here? good things. Fingerprints. Uh, yeah, fingerprints. Tool marks. Bite marks. Dan, are we doing the only one? So is this Investigations. Do you watch a lot of crime shows on TV? Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes. Do you want to do this as some kind of a career? Possibly. I don't think so. <laughs> no. You like watching the uh, blood splatter and that sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. So what do you do after the splatter of the blood? What do you learn about? Well, we have to calculate how far it goes and what angle, how it was hit, yeah, where it was hit. So. Like the flaws, like a lot of kids are into the CSI shows, so they'll watch the episodes and we kind of talk about like the inaccuracies of shows compared to real life um, and how science is used. Um, things like chromatography, which is um, like using ink samples to tell like the difference between um, like a pen used and like a, a ransom note or something to that effect. Um, so there's a number of science involved. We do some chemistry, we do some biology. Um, we do math, so like with the blood spatter that we're doing here, um, and the next thing that they're going to move on to is calculating, um, they use like the uh, math to determine how high like a wound occurred, like if the, you know, if you have blood, you can see like, you know, where the person was shot, where they kneeling, where they standing, um, that kind of stuff. Well, what do you analyze it? Analyze it. Analyze it. How do you analyze it? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. We haven't got that far. <laughs> Simpson, what do we do? <laughs> I just know to hit it. Just <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of, of all kinds of um, uh, several disciplines of science and math actually involved in forensics. So, so these, these kids don't have to go into criminal investigation. They can they can learn science and math that can be used in other areas. Absolutely, absolutely. Is um, this the science class? Is this a science class you can take rather than a different it's class? An class? It's an elective, okay. so it's a junior-senior option elective 
course. So after they've taken like the required and they want additional sciences, it's a half credit class. We're on the block schedule, so it's a nine week course. We have, you know, the 85 minutes of, of class. I try to make it very hands on. Um, there's no book. There's just a lot of like, what I call like exploration activities where I kind of give them, um, for instance, tire tracks. You know, we did a tire track lab and they had to do, um, we used Matchbox cars and they had a like, I gave them a scenario, like crime scene tire tracks and they had to do a comparison. So it's really like making those observations and um, the attention to detail of, of trying to determine, you know, how to match them up and measuring, I mean, just basic measuring like the wheelbase and the tire width and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of, at, at any point in time, we do a daily challenge where mm -hmm. it's about like, um, methodical like thinking through and making observations and trying to determine um, thinking outside the box mm -hmm. kind of an idea to start looking at um, you know the type of instrument used whether it's a hand or a weapon and how fast you were moving and how much surface area of the weapon was used because all of that goes into calculating the velocity listen please the velocity, like how fast the weapon was using or being or moving, and um, the height at which the injury occurred. I learned that okay, that's good. No, it's not. how hard you hit someone and where you hit someone determines how blood splatter, how blood is splattered. And what we're doing is we're bloodying up sponges and we're hitting them, seeing where blood through the blood splatter goes. All right. So you like doing that? Yeah. It's cool. So is this going to be a career thing for you? Or? Um, I've always thought about it. I'm not sure yet. This is my third year. This is my third year. So, so you got the person that came up with the idea? Uh, actually, the so three years ago when I just started teaching here, they were asking, they had asked the students what they had. Um, they were looking for elective science classes to add to our curriculum. And they kind of took a survey of kids and friends. It's one of the things the kids was interested in, in having. And so they asked me if I would teach it. And I was like, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Did you have to do a little homework ahead of time? Or? Yeah, I did a lot. I did a lot of homework. I did a lot of research. Um, I did, we don't use a textbook. I did get a lot of material. There's a, um, a lady who shared her, shared her material that she worked for um, the like Smithsonian mm -hmm. and she did like a forensic science camp so I got some of her material from there um, I looked up like the standards like the um, looks at the material of other courses there was I even have a at a friend who teaches in Willoughby Eastlake who has a forensic science course so he couldn't tell me what they do in their course so I kind of looked at some of the other high schools that had classes and then the lady from the, the Smithsonian and then um, uh, looked at like standards mm -hmm. that are covered like state standards covered by um, science as well as math because that's what we're trying to incorporate and um, and design the course based on those <laughs> Can we do it again tomorrow?